Okay, guys, welcome back to Power Plays and more Dragon Age Origins. The Legend of Kronok. Dragon Age. Dragon Age. I love Dragon Age. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> um, one thing I actually wanted to ask you that I haven't yet is, how did you how did you get to playing Dragon Age? Like, what uh, what made you want to try it? I saw it in the store, and I was looking for something that. I wanted to play that I wasn't just playing because hubby had bought it. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to buy my own video game and then I saw the, I saw the, the basically the cover and went, that looks badass. And so mm -hmm. I bought it and that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. Yeah. It's funny. Cause that's the way um, a lot of games were like, a lot of people purchase games back in the like the Nintendo days. Like yeah. you looked at the cover of the box, they're like, "That looks cool. I want that game." Yeah. And sometimes you would get burned because the game wouldn't be cool at all. It'd be bad. But sometimes you'd get good stuff. So yeah. cover art is still very important. Like um, for me, I like if the cover looks cool, that's something. But I have to look at the back and see what the game's about mm -hmm. to see screenshots and stuff. Because if it's like, uh, for example, like I'm, I don't really like RTSs, like real-time strategy games mm -hmm. where you had to do a lot of micromanagement and stuff. I'm yeah. not a fan of those, but like a strategy RPG, for example, I like those and games like this. I like these kind of games, but if it was like a, like an MMO or something, I play them, but I don't dedicate myself to them. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be as interested, but I like this. This is really, I can freely move and you can be... kind of get into the story and the conversation. Yeah. And, yeah. And I can be my own person. I can be a dick or I can be a nice guy. And I like being a nice guy. So And there are pro right pros and cons to each. Mm -hmm. All right. What? Ronus Dace? Yes. Is Lord hmm. Dace? Many thanks for your willingness to hear me out, my lord. I wish to speak to you of a matter most urgent. <laughs> of course, Lord Dace. There is a vote coming before the assembly next week. And a word from you could go a long way towards helping our cause. What cause? The vote concerns the status of the so-called surface caste. Lost to the stone, air-touched, and so forth. Centuries ago, narrow-minded men declared that any dwarf who left to live on the surface forfeited his caste and his house if noble. That he was, in essence, no longer a dwarf. I seek only to remedy an injustice to retie the bonds of anyone who can trace himself to one of the noble houses wherever he may live. Please, agree to speak for this noble cause. Okay, so he's basically saying the way it is now is if, uh, is if you leave, you're a traitor. Yeah. But he's like, well, that doesn't make any sense. What about people who do pilgrimages and stuff? I'm like, okay, so... No, no pilgrimage for you. Where could you possibly want to pilgrim to? You know what I mean? Outside. People must know the word of our great house. Not, not quite. Oh, yeah. oh, you'll learn. Okay. Keep playing, of keep course. playing, Clayton. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> when your father presents you to the noble houses, I will ask for your opinion on the matter. You have merely to say that you feel our service brothers should be returned their noble rights. What could be more simple? He told me what to say, but I will put it in my own words. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We're gonna you mobile. might. You're a fool. Good to see you. Guard. You, you might want to... Okay. Oh, what? Um, please reconsider. The a different noble was going to give you a heads up on that. To our houses. Will we really turn our back on our brothers and a potential fortune in cheap labor because of a political technicality? Denial of the traditions of our people does not qualify as a political technicality. There is more to life than monetary gains, my lords Bimo and Mino. The assembly of Kal Sharak will respect the rule of Ozamar, or they will rot and die alone, surrounded by enemies. Yes, my king. But look, we have company to spare us further wrangling. A trust Vala, my son. How fine you look in your great-grandfather's armor. I hear you were declared champion of the Provings. <laughs> I suppose you were never one to sit by when something exciting was going on. Are you ready to be presented to the heads of the noble houses? Of course, Father. So dutiful. <laughs> Very well. Let us begin. Lords, ladies, 
Grant me a moment of your time. We are here today so I may present to you my second eldest child, blessed by the stone and born of the blood that ran in the veins of the Paragon Idukan. Who would pose a question to the prospective commander? Who seeks to know the prospect better? I have a question. I seek to know the prospect better. Lord Dace, head of House Dace, speak. Lords, ladies, my question concerns the plight of our wayward kin, the so-called surface caste. What does the commander prospect think is the proper place for these lost souls? Oh, wow, you can betray him, eh? Mm-hmm. They are as we are and should have the right, their rights returned. Thank you, my lord. I am satisfied. Then if there are no other challenges, I give you Orzammar's next commander. Yeah, that's good trip. Tomorrow, <laughs> our newest commander will lead part of a mission to strike a great blow to the Darkspawn. Not only does this recover access to some of our most important minds, but it also allows our honored guest Duncan, head of Ferelden's Grey Wardens, to strike far into the deep roads. Thank you, King Endrin. While the Darkspawn seem to withdraw, it is only because they are massing on the surface. This could mean a blight, and my men and I will discover the truth. We are honored to have you with us, my friend. Now, Feast, drink, and celebrate, for the morning brings battle! As for you, my new commander, find your brother Trian and send him to me. He may be watching the provings, or getting some rest in his rooms. He's not watching the provings, I already won. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want with Trian? Don't question everything. Just go for the ancestor's sake. <laughs> Part of now did you not understand? Son, I do can. <laughs> All right, so now, yeah, what the fuck do I have to do it? Uh, shouldn't I be here drinking and celebrating? Because mm, your dad said so. That's, that's pretty much why. Oh, you know God how God when sake. when you you say something and someone's like, "But what about this?" and Gorham says, "Because he said so." That's that's kind of what you got from your father because mm. he's the king, and son or not, he is the king. Therefore, everyone above him, uh, below him. Is his bitch that that's you so run along <laughs> that's uh Balin's room um Balin's room. there are some shinies in there that you might want before you you progress. know what yeah because you haven't been in here yet you didn't want to chase the poor girl oh my god there's lots of shinies there's the so one <laughs> um and there's the so one a bunch of codex uh, was a chest. I think you might not be able to get in. Oh, insufficient skill. Okay, yeah. So, you cannot pick locks. Okay. Even if I get a lock pick, I can't do it. Correct. I, I'm sorry. I thought you were Prince Balin coming down the hall. I, forgive me. No, I'm done. I will show myself out with your leave, my lord. <clears throat> yes, you may go. Thank you. I will go now. It's kind of fun that my character doesn't talk because I can do the talking instead. Mm -hmm. What? What is this? Oh, it's a belt. Ooh, I has a belt now. Look at this thing; it goes crazy. <laughs> Like a, I got like a the the shiny. Yeah, or no, the uh, yeah the sword or the dagger. I got like a little rave going on. <laughs> I feel like underneath the shield is going. Disco dagger. Disco dagger. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip that thing. Oh, wrong way. Okay, so let's see. Um, Broken right. merchant's belt. What does it do? Increase monetary gain. Uh, yes. All right. Okay, so we've got that on. So, I, is there any more shinies in here? Uh, I think you got them all. You got them all. Yeah. Okay. All righty then. So, let us make our way here. 
and go into his room. Get up! <laughs> Wake up! Oh, left. Oh, left? Shiny. Shiny. I read his journal. That's right, you read your brother's diary. Is there any more shinies in here? I don't see any. Okay. So you're a commander now, in name at least. Shouldn't you be attending our king father? <laughs> Melon, how was your day? Interesting. I would have been at the feast, but Trian had need of me. The world does not stop and start with your meager achievements. Not even tonight. Now, do you have some purpose in bothering us? <laughs> Should I do it? Yes. Father's worried. You're too much of an ass to be prince. You push your luck. Balin, get to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. I will see what our father wishes from his heir. All day I've put up with that. He can really grate on the nerves. I agree. And what I'm going to tell you next won't make you any more fond of him. Uh, what are you talking about? Trian has begun to move against you. I never thought his much-proclaimed honor would allow him to actually act on his jealousy. Big brother, Trian is going to try to kill you. Isn't Balin a good brother? <laughs> he recognizes I'm a threat. Good. He fears what you are becoming, in the eyes of the people and the assembly. Trian's the named prince, but only the assembly can proclaim a king. It would be unusual for the assembly to ignore the king's choice, but it does happen. The founder of House Bimo became a paragon and king in one move from the assembly, and he was a commoner. That was an extraordinary case, but at least a half dozen times the assembly named a lesser family member, or even someone from another house, as king. Either my dad or Brock is him. younger hmm. brother of an undesirable oh, well. prince. Well, it's popular. 430. Um... <laughs> Trian thinks the assembly would prefer me. Look at it from his perspective. You're more personable than he's ever been. You entered the provings held in your own honor just for glory and to please the crowds. If you win glory against the Darkspawn tomorrow, it will only strengthen the case for you as the next heir. Trian fears father will replace him on the spot. If not, the assembly will surely turn against him when father dies. You know his pride will never allow him to step aside. Should I? Should I do it? Totally up to you. I mean, you, you've you worked pretty hard so far to be the, the good son and the good brother and the noble alignment. Um, if uh, if you want to shank Trian, um, yeah, totally up to you. It might be bad, though, eh? I am going to make let you make your own decisions and mistakes. Okay. <laughs> What's your angle in this? It seems Trian has shown that brothers can't always be trusted. I am next in line. If Trian succeeds in his plot against you, how long do you think I'll live? What should I do? You're the Elder. I'll follow your lead as always. Hmm. Then we wait, see what Trian does. Very well. I'll keep my eyes open. I don't want to lose the brother I actually like. <laughs> what a good brother Balin is. I'm glad for your concern, Balin. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm taking your place as father's second, so I'll be at hand tomorrow. For now, try to get some sleep. May the Paragon smile down on you. Is he going to try to kill me if I sleep? No. Not yet. Hmm. Oh. Got a cutscene happening here. 
Creon and his men will clear the way for the Grey Wardens to descend into the easternmost caverns. Those caverns are still infested by the worst of the Darkspawn. We cannot risk our own troops in there. Understood, Lord Haramont. We should be able to sense the Darkspawn and avoid them once the way is open. May the Paragons favor you, and the stone catch you if you fall. Come then! Glory awaits! Balaam, you and your men will second the king, clearing the main road. Don't you think it looks a little cowardly to allow these humans to take our place where the fighting is thickest? Are you questioning the battle plan? Of course not. I'm sure your caution is for the glory of us all. Enough, Balin. Take your men and make ready. Paramount and I need to have words with your sibling. Good luck, my brother. Your father has a special mission for you. In the eastern deep roads, there is a secret door carved into the stone. The door leads to a taig, abandoned long ago by your ancestors. The Darkspawn have made it impossible to reach it. My father believed that the shield of the Paragon Idukan remains in that taig, under the stones of the central room. We claim the shield, and glory will be yours. To glory! <laughs> we sent two scouts ahead to make sure the tunnels are cleared. But be careful. One of the scouts will meet you at the first crossroads you come to. The second will be further in. When you get to the door, use your signet ring to open it. Questions? Meet the scouts, find the door, grab the shield, got it. <laughs> Very good. The crossroads where you meet the first scout will be the rendezvous point. There you can present the shield to the lords and demonstrate the strength of Idukin. May the ancestors watch over you, my child. He just had a look on his face like he's going to die. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we will start this quest next time on Power Plays. Next time For glory. on Power Plays. For glory!